Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm just going to be doing the beginning of Mom Monday. Every couple Mondays out of the month, I'll be throwing out some tips that have helped me as a mom for any new moms or moms that just feel like they should get some tips. Um, this one will be about my main tips for breastfeeding. I have two daughters and I have breastfed both of them. Ellie, who is right here was breastfed for 20 months and then I weaned her when I found out I was pregnant with this one. Say hi. <laughs> so yeah, I've had a pretty successful breastfeeding journey with both of them and I'll just start off with my story before I get on with those tips. Um, this is me, my daily life, so please excuse any of the little interruptions. But just know that this is genuine, this is real. So with both girls, my milk didn't come in until three days after I gave birth. So do not panic if your milk doesn't come in immediately. Just keep up with the skin to skin, keep up with the contact, keep up with trying to get them to nurse. Um, in the meantime, by all means supplement, mix feed, give them the formula so that they have something to eat to make sure that babies are getting enough you just got to keep track of their diapers the number of wet versus the number of dirty diapers and then when the milk does come in personally for me it came in super fast out of nowhere and then all of a sudden my breasts were huge they were engorged it looked like i had just gotten implants and when that happened i couldn't even stand <laughs> without me leaking all over the place so nursing pads were in high demand then and like I said when that happened my breasts became really engorged and really hard so something that helped was to express some of it not just to release some some of the pressure but to soften the breasts a bit just to make sure that the latch is easier for the baby because sometimes a really big large or a big hard breast it's hard for the baby to suckle for them to get a good latch so soften that breast up a little bit and then also you know relieve some of that pressure um with Eleanor we had a little bit of a latch issue we worked through it but she had a little bit of a she had a mild lip tie which caused the way my nipple moved in her mouth when she sucked to hit her palate and made my nipples get cut. It hurt, it really did, and most women would remedy that with nipple cream. I just would put some of my own milk on it and let it dry, and they healed up pretty quick. We worked through her latch, and we found our perfect position, which was sideline. When you have a, an exclusively breastfed baby, it seems like they're hungry all the time, but it's really just because breast milk, it metabolizes quickly. You'll notice that they're going to poop a lot. And sometimes they'll, you could just like change their diaper, start nursing them. And while you're nursing them, they literally poo again because breast milk is a natural laxative. It just does that. So do not freak out. Do not think like, oh my goodness, this kid is always hungry because that's just how it is. And they're increasing your supply and they hit those certain weeks and months where they have growth spurts it seems like they're going to be attached to you 24 7 but they're just really trying to boost your supply it's all about supply and demand so if you can nurse them if you and make sure that you know you're getting your supply up to where it needs to be especially if later you need to pump and stash because you're going back to work or even not just going back to work but you just want to have someone help you with the feeding responsibilities to make sure that you have a good supply, you need to eat and drink enough. Before I gave birth to Eleanor, I made sure to buy myself a gallon water bottle from Amazon. And I just kept that everywhere. I took it everywhere with me, just like I had her everywhere with me because she was clingy. I made sure to drink all, all of it every day. I made sure to drink as much as I could. And I also had little snacks and pre-made foods around me to eat. I wasn't hungry, but I knew I needed to eat in order to make milk because if you're not eating enough, your body stops doing non-essential functions, which lactating is one of those. 
Um, I'll include a recipe for overnight oats, which is really simple and you can make quite a few servings ahead of time. So all you have to do is just grab them out of the mic or grab them out of the fridge and eat it. Another tip I may add is make sure that you don't stress too much. As long as baby is having those wet and dirty diapers, you're doing a good job. If they seem that they're not getting enough, by all means supplement. You could either just formula feed or mix feed. There's no shame in either. The priority is to have baby fed. And like a good friend of mine mentioned, it's like every relationship. If it's not working for one partner, you need to make a change so that both partners could be happy. It's a learning experience with each baby, even though you've had babies before. Like Eleanor, like I said, was a difficult latch. Isabella was a really easy latch. She was a natural nurser. I had no issues with her. I still have no issues with her. And it's the main reason I weaned this one is because I found out I was pregnant with Isabella and I was just way too drained. So I hope that that was somewhat helpful. I hope those tips do something for you. Just please don't panic. Try not to stress and never feel any shame in needing to supplement. Motherhood is easy. Breastfeed or motherhood isn't easy. I'm sorry. Motherhood and breastfeeding are natural, but by no means are they easy because we can do everything, everything right. Yet our bodies still decide, nope, they don't want to do it. So those are my tips in, those are my tips in no particular order. Sorry that I'm like not as well thought out or well planned. I just have my kids on my back and you know, jumping in and out. I just hope that those help you out. I'm by no means a professional. These are just what have worked for me. I'll keep you updated on Isabella's breastfeeding journey. I hope to make it to two years with her. She says hi. And I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. I'll be throwing out a lactation cookie recipe just because I know a lot of people look out for those because pre-made ones are pretty damn expensive, especially here in Guam. And it's also the best recipe I've tried. It's really tasty. So I'll be sharing that with you. Please let me know any other questions or tips or even segments you guys would like to see. Just let me know down in the comments. Follow me on Instagram and you could get a hold of me there as well. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Take care. Okay guys, so for the base, we're gonna need these four ingredients. Rolled oats, flaxseed meal, chia seeds, and your choice of liquid. You really could flavor them however you want. I particularly use crunchy peanut butter, honey, and cinnamon. So don't worry if you don't have mason jars like you see on Pinterest recipes. I'm just using these Tupperwares that I already have. First, I'm putting in half a cup of rolled oats. It has to be rolled oats, not instant oats. Instant oats, it'll turn out all right, but it, because it's already processed to cook quickly, it'll be mushy, so you definitely wanna use rolled oats. Now I'm adding in flaxseed mill. Flaxseed mill and chia seed, which is coming up, have both been noted to help with breast milk supply. Now here are the chia seeds. I'm adding one tablespoon also to each container. And now the cinnamon. Add as much as you want. I'm kind of heavy handed, but it's just up to your preference. And now the peanut butter. Like I said, I use crunchy. I like the texture and I like the taste. It's up to you what you wanna use. I've seen other people use cookie butter, pumpkin puree, Nutella. It's just up to you. Tweak this to the way you like it to taste. So 
So off the camera, I went to go wash my hands. They're clean now, and now I'm adding the liquid. It's up to you what liquid you wanna use. I just happen to have 1% on hand. Some people use water, whole milk, almond milk, soy milk, it's up to you. And now for some sweetness, I'm gonna be drizzling honey over the top and just a quick reminder, honey is a no-no for kids who are under one. That's my 11 month old and she can't be having any of this. <laughs> And this is how it looks straight out of the fridge. Just give it a quick mix and it'll look great. And here it is mixed. This is something that's just easy to make sure you're fed while you're trying to maintain your supply. I hope this helps some of you. Please leave any comments or questions down below and hope to see you again for another Mom Monday.